Guess what, folks? Alamo Music Center is now a teenage engineering dealer. And before we get too deep into content, we want to ask you a few questions. So stick around. Hello, Internet. Chris Klein here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio. And we are super, super stoked to be a teenage engineering dealer. Now, we know that this little dynamo here, the OP-1, it's been out for just north of 10 years, and there is tons of content uh, regarding this device, as well as the OPZ and their new modular series and the uh, pocket operators. So what we want to do is we want to take a different approach before we start producing content on all these amazing devices. And we want to ask you, and we're going to start with the OP-1 once we start creating our content, but we want to ask you, what do you want to know about the OP-1? What do you feel like all these other great resources has missed? Because this thing does pretty much everything. You learn how to operate this in its fullest capacity, and you probably don't need too much more. But we want to know, what do you want to know about the OP-1? And as we start moving through the product line, the OPZ, the modular series, and the pocket operators. The things that I love about this already and I think I'm probably about 30 to 40% in, honestly, at this point, uh, is the, the sequencing capabilities, the Tombola, which is basically a, like a physics-enabled uh, uh, sequencer, if you will. Think of like a rock tumbler. You enter notes into this thing called the Tombola, and it spins around. And depending on the mass that you have uh, dialed in and the speed, um, it changes the way it functions. It's really, really cool. And I'm really into that, as well as some of the other sequencers and the synthesis uh, uh, features on here as well. You can dial in or pick a sound uh, from the memory banks, and then you can choose the different synth engines, and it will retain all the characteristics of the original patch, uh, which to me is invaluable, because I might want to know how you know, synth engine A sounds versus synth engine C with the same amplitude envelope and the same LFO. And one other feature that I really, really like is the LFO itself. You can, you can use the onboard mic as your LFO to modulate your sound or your line in or other, other things. The LFO is super, super deep uh, on the OP-1. Um, so that's kind of where we are now. What do you want to know about this device? Is there anything that you want to see a deep dive on? Because we're going to bring that content to you and pretty quickly. Um, so I'm going to end this right now. This is a short one. We want to hear your feedback big time down below. Fill in those comments, right? We know, we know that there's a ton of content out there already for this. We want to hear what kind of content you're looking for. So if you haven't subscribed to us already, please do so. Uh, we're going to be coming back with a lot more content, not just with Teenage Engineering, but with preamps, interfaces, other synthesizers, Zach's content. We have a bass channel, piano channel, accordion channel, guitar channel. We're, we're going to have every channel in the world pretty soon, probably a UFC channel, who knows. Uh, but let us know what you want to know about this. We are really interested in, in creating content that's more tailored for you. And uh, that's it for this one. <laughs> Be kind to each other. Keep on creating. Subscribe, comments. Alma Music Center in San Antonio. I'm Chris Klein. Until next time, we will see you again. Bye-bye.